So we'll put down an activation module, and you'll see here that when I toggle it, hitting R, it just swaps from one state to the next. But for a lot of these more advanced circuits, what we need is a pulse. We can't really use that. So what we'll do is we'll add a not block next to it. We'll then add a delay. Then we'll add a or signal. And then we can chuck another activation module on the end just to show what we're getting out. Now, if we go over and we select our first activation module, we'll hook it into both the not and the or. We'll also grab then the not and hook it into the delay and then hook the delay also into the or and then hook the or into the activation module now there's two things to note here we can put a not gate next to it and hook the or also into the not gate and then when we trigger it you'll see we get a pulse when we flick it over now this will flick over when it goes inactive. If you want to swap it over, you can just as easily put an extra not gate in here at the start. But then that gives us the option of using an on or an off pulse at the end there. So for the next few circuits that we'll be building, we're just going to be using the off as the pulse and have the on as the... Uh, common occurrence like this so but this will be good for things like buttons and stuff where you want to be able to push it and not have to necessarily worry about what this was left to somewhere else so what we can do for now is uncheck that close that and we'll just go ahead and we'll build one more of these next to it so again activation module not delay or another one on the end so hook that up to there and there hook that up to there hook that up to there hook that up to there and then we shall push it once and check that it's working and it's working all right next what we're going to do is show how we can create a loop using the delay to create ourselves a clock and we can use this to make pulsating lights and also to drive some other more complicated logic circuitry